Today, this morning, I fished with mainly my chatterbaits, and since I have them all out here in front of me, I thought I'd just do a quick review. Mainly, it's for the new chatterbait I got yesterday. I had to go to Gainesville Bass Pro. It's the only store that had it. So, and it is called the Jackhammer. This is the Jackhammer Half Ounce, and on the Jackhammer, I use a Yamamoto Swim Senko. This is a three and a half inch, but I take off, I take off just a smidgen off the tip, because they short strike these a lot, and they end up tearing off the tail. So I go ahead and just snip off a little flat. This is one of the differences of the jackhammer. I don't know if you can see this, it actually has two bait keepers, one on each side. All the other ones either have one or they have none. I'm going to push it all the way to the jig head. Let those bait keepers get a good... There we go. That's pretty straight. There we go. It's a good, good looking chatterbait. This skirt's pretty short compared to all the other ones. I'll show you. Um, the blade is... It looks to me like it's straighter and it just has a little bit of flex at the top or slight bend. As for your line tie, it has this little dual snap deal. But I went ahead and put on a snap, a snap ring because I use those Spro, little number eight Spro, they're like speed clips or something like that. And this little wire does not stay in it so well. I didn't want to lose my new 1999 bait, 20 bucks. So I used the the uh, split ring to attach it, and it's been okay, no problems. There it is. Let's compare this to the Z-Man Original. This is a Z-Man Original chatterbait. Skirts, that's eh, pretty close in skirt and blade. See this blade has a, the bend is all the way down here as opposed to this, the jackhammer, it's just at the top. Um, this one has a, like a plastic skirt. I've just got a little three inch swim bait on that. So there it is compared to the original. Then I have the custom. This is a Z-Man Custom Chatterbait. This one has been a workhorse for me. I've caught a lot of big fish on it. It has the skirt that is just held in by a little band, so the skirt gets all messed up. It's kind of messed up. This trailer's all tore up, too. I have a Grass Pig Junior trailer on there. Same blade as the original Chatterbait, except it's a dull finish. And I this is probably my favorite. this type of connection. Same as the original Chatterbait. It has that little wire with the loop on each end. I like that better. Um, Size-wise, compared to the jackhammer, if you're not looking at the trailers, just look at the baits. Jackhammer is only slightly bigger. It has a much beefier hook. I think the jackhammer's beefed up in every aspect. But, like I said, this Custom Chatterbait has caught a lot of good fish for me. Quality fish on this. Next up we have the, this is the Project Z. And I ordered a black and blue and they ended up sending me this. It's called Breaking Brim color. But I could have sent it back and eh, I figured what the heck, I'll just give it a try. And actually this morning I actually had a fish on it, the fish got off, but I did get a bite. This trailer is the 4-inch Gary Yamamoto Zacco. It's made, I think it's made specifically for these baits. Really super amount of tail action. See those cuts, those links? I want to try it on my other baits, but I had I have to find some black and blue. I can't find any. The bait keeper on this Project Z is just, it's little nubs. There are no wires. It's got a nub on this side and a nub on that side. In fact, the bait had slipped off a little there. Like I said, one hit on this this morning. It's big. 
big profile. It also has the double loop keeper. It has eyes on the jig, so it's a little more fancy. These other, the original and the custom, they don't have anything on the head. And then yesterday when I was picking up the jackhammer, I also picked up a Freedom. This one kind of fascinated me and I've been looking for it. So they had it in stock, so I grabbed it. This is a really large one. It has a blade similar to the others. Same in size, Project Z, pretty much. That Project Z has a lot of bend. So it has the double loop tie-on. The deal about this bait is it's got a free head. The head is made to pivot. So as your bait's going along in the water, your head's chattering. you got a lot of movement there between the jig head and the bait, the skirt and the trailer. The hook on this is similar to a Texas rig hook. It's an offset hook. It's number five, or five aught. It's basically an offset hook. And I don't have the right trailer on here. This is a full-size grass pig, five inch, which is a bit long. I was just putting something on it to show. Yeah, I probably need to trim that down or get some smaller ones. The skirt on this is, it's on a rubber tie, similar to the custom. So that's my Z-Man Chatterbait lineup. And like I said, so far the custom has been a workhorse. Many, many fish caught. And today I caught three on the jackhammer. And I missed about four. I, I missed more than I caught today, but they were short striking it. They weren't committing. Today was a weird day fishing. Wow, this already has some wear on the blade. I guess we're... I don't know why there. Nothing seems to hit. This is like a black blade with a shiny finish and a few blue flakes in it. But yeah, it has some wear on the blade already. I only used this this morning for less than an hour. Today wasn't a great fishing day, so I'm going to give this another try on another day and give it a real comparison to this custom. But so far the custom's ahead. But I have a feeling this is going to get some big fish. Today they weren't big couple at a pound and a half and one at two pounds. And I will follow up after a few good fishing trips with it. Let you know how it's holding up and is it worth the $20. Right now, if I was to have to go buy more, I'd go with the Custom at $6.99. Buy three of these for the cost of one of these. So that's my quick review on the Jackhammer. This has been a hot spot before. Whoa, big fish. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. not even fighting. Oh yeah. He's pushing two pounds. He wasn't getting off. Well, yeah, you could have shaken it off. First fish of the day. Where'd you go? 